Meantime, the search picks up today for a six-year-old boy who police say has not been seen in more than a month. KPRC 2's Vincent Crivelli is live near Clear Lake where search teams worked into the night on this. Vincent, good morning. Lisa, good morning. Overnight, authorities searched a woman's apartment here where they believe little Samuel spent some amount of time over the past several weeks. However, at last check, no trace of him has been found as the hunt for Samuel continues. The father of little Samuel Olson breaking down overnight, crushed by the magnitude of the situation. His six-year-old son is still missing. Overnight, Houston police executed a search warrant at the home of a friend of the father's girlfriend. We don't know where this little boy's at. We don't know when he disappeared. Tim Miller of Texas Equisearch combed through fields while police officers questioned family members. We are looking for Samuel. Dalton Ronald Olson. Dalton Olson, Samuel's father, believes Samuel's biological mother has taken the boy. His girlfriend, Teresa Balboa, claiming she was caring for the boy when the boy's mother appeared with a man dressed like a police officer and took the child. I was going to take Sam to school when his mother showed up with a police officer or what I was under the impression to be a police officer, and they demanded me to release... Right now, it's, it appears as though that was a fabricated story. Houston police say they don't know who to believe. They've gotten so many conflicting stories from family members. Investigators say it's possible that Samuel may have been missing for as long as four weeks, not five days. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm, I don't think this is going to have a happy ending. So where does the search go from here? Well, right now, nobody knows, but authorities say they may issue an Amber Alert sometime today. The problem, though, they don't know whose story to believe. All they know is right now, little Samuel is still missing. Reporting live in the Clear Lake area, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, 2 News. Vincent, thank you.